We're out of the EGI Hotel, ladies and gentlemen. This is a real hawk. They have a whole assortment of birds here. And he's eating some carrion. Well, he's probably eating fresh, fresh kill. They have over here a hawk. And over here they have a hornbill. Now this fella, this fella can jump around and make it look easy from jumping two or three feet without even opening up his wings. Hello, Mr. Hornbell. Hello, look at the bill on this thing. It's an amazing looking bird. When you're talking, he doesn't move around. As soon as you relax for five minutes, he jumps around from one place to another. But he doesn't seem to bind people. Probably about a hundred plus men on this site and they're building the beam boxes. They use galvanized wire to tie the uh, to tie the ninth all the rebar together. They use a completely different type of scaffolding than we use in New York, but it sure does seem to work well for them. They use a series of pipes and clamps, which you're gonna see now. And these pipes, basically, they just clamp down a half moon on the pipe and they can clamp it in almost configuration because they have universals on the, uh, on the clamping system itself. And they just take random lengths of pipe and do whatever they need to do with it and it's reusable. Now this man here, he doesn't look so dangerous, but he's up about 18 feet off the ground, just sitting on top of a beam, creating a, looks like, what well, looks like uh, the bottom of a beam box, the bottom of the beam box for this um, horizontal beam box. These fellas over here are doing something that's really interesting. What they have in their hand is cable. And the cable is inserted into that black neoprene tube inside the beam box. Kind of like a pre-stressed casting. And they might even put a stress on it. And they, um, I, I don't know how that works. I haven't been able to ask anybody and I sure don't want to disturb them while they're working. But they pull these cables. They have these coils of polypropylene and they're, they're pre-cut for their, just like, just like the rebar itself <clears throat> is pretty much pre-cut. And now they're, they're locking the cables into the rebar and then, like I just showed you, it goes through the beam box. And that looks like the elevator shaft over there. Pretty complex uh, deal because we're going to, it's probably going to go up 12 stories, I guess. This building is eight stories. I imagine he's going to build it at least that big. And we are at the Elizabeth Hotel. And there it is right there. The Elizabeth Hotel in Cebu. And 
this is a three, six, nine, like a ten story building, I guess. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, ten stories. What a view. We haven't had any sun. Still no sun. Ladies and gentlemen, this is one of those brooms again. This lady is allowing me to take a video. She thinks it's funny as all get out. But I want to show you this broom close up. She just swept about 60 feet of street in just a few seconds. I can't even see. Oh, yeah, yeah, we got it. She's sweeping like a champ here. It actually doesn't work that bad, but it doesn't look like there's enough fiber to the broom to even make it work or do anything. So she swept it in little piles. That's amazing. I gotta tell you, I just gotta tell you, it's just freaking amazing. <laughs> Look at this broom. Just one second. Just, just. Thank you. Salamat. Salamat, thank you. Salamat means thank you. 